Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 3 from exercise 7.3, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I've completed the distance section formula and area of the triangle formula. Examples 1 to 14, exercises 7.1 and 7.2, questions 1 to 2 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 3 from exercise 7.3, chapter 7, coordinate geometry says, find the area of triangle formed by joining the midpoints of sides of the triangle whose vertices are 0, minus 1, 2, 1 and 0, 3. Find the ratio of this area to the area of the given triangle. So first of all, let us understand the question here. So here we have to find out the area of a triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a triangle whose vertices are given these three coordinates. We have a triangle. Let us name this triangle as A, B and C. So the coordinates of this triangle is also given that is 0, minus 1, 2, 1 and 0, 3. We have to find out the area of the triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of this given triangle ABC. So let us assume the midpoint of the side BC to be P, midpoint of AB to be Q and let the midpoint of the side AC to be R. Right? So by joining the midpoints of the sides of this triangle, we are going to obtain another triangle that is triangle PQR. So we have to find out the area of this triangle PQR. So that is what is asked in the first part of the question till here. Right? Then again, we have to find out the ratio of this area to the area of the triangle ABC. So let us first solve the first part of the question where we have to find out the area of the triangle PQR. So how do we find out the area of the triangle PQR? We can find out by applying formula for area of the triangle. But to apply the formula for area of the triangle, we should also know the coordinates of the triangle PQR. Here we only know the coordinates of this triangle ABC. Coordinates of PQR are not given. So first we will find out or determine the coordinates of the triangle PQR. Now here since the point P is the midpoint of the side BC, so this point P divides this line BC in the ratio 1 is to 1, right? Similarly, this point Q divides the line AB in the ratio again in 1 is to 1 and this point R similarly divides this line AC in the ratio 1 is to 1. So here we will apply the section formula or the midpoint formula to find out the coordinates of triangle PQR. So if you remember in exercise 7.2 we have used section formula is given by M1 X2 plus M2 X1 divided by M1 plus M2. This is the X coordinate part and the Y coordinate part will be M1 Y2 plus M2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 right this is the section formula now since the point p q and r divides the sides in equal ratio therefore we have m1 is equal to m2 is equal to 1 now this section formula will reduce to the midpoint formula which is given by x1 plus x2 divided by 2 this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we will be using this midpoint formula to find out the coordinates of point P, Q and R. Since point P, Q and R forms the midpoint of the side BC, AB and AC. So let us first write down here, let point A be 0, minus 1, point B be 2, 1 and point C be 0, 3. Be the vertices of triangle ABC. Now to find out the area of triangle PQR, let us apply the midpoint formula. Write down to find area of triangle PQR, uh, let us apply 
मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला विच इज गिवन बाई एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू बाई टू एंड वाई वन प्लस वाई टू बाई टू राइट फर्स्ट लेट इज फाइंड आउट कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पॉइंट पी नाउ टू फाइंड आउट द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट पी लेट इज अज्यूम कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट सी टू बी एक्स वन वाई वन एंड लेट पॉइंट बी कॉर्डिनेट्स बी एक्स टू वाई टू अप्लाइंग द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू दैट इज जीरो प्लस टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड वाई वन प्लस वाई टू दैट इज थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो सिंप्लीफाइंग फर्दर जीरो प्लस टू इज टू बाई टू कॉमा थ्री प्लस वन इज फोर बाई टू सो कैंसलिंग टू वन टाइम्स टू वन टाइम्स टू वन टाइम्स हेयर टू टू टाइम्स सो द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी वन कॉमा टू Similarly, let us find out the coordinates of point Q by assuming point A to be x1 y1 and let point B be x2 y2. Applying the formula x1 plus x2 that is 0 plus 2 divided by 2 comma minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2. So 0 plus 2 divided by 2 is nothing but 2 by 2 comma here minus 1 and plus 1 will become 0. So 0 divided by 2 is 0. so this will be 2 1 times 2 1 times cancelling we get the coordinate as 1 comma 0 similarly let us find out the coordinate of point r by applying the midpoint formula again by assuming point a to be x1 y1 and point c to be x2 y2 now right so applying the formula x1 plus x2 is 0 plus 0 divided by 2 and minus 1 Plus three divided by two, so zero plus zero is zero. So zero divided by two is zero again. Comma minus one plus three. We have to subtract with the greater number sign. So this will be two by two. So cancelling two one times two one times. So we get the coordinates as zero comma one. Right. So these are the three coordinates we, values we have obtained for P, Q, and R. Now, by using these three coordinates, let us find out the area of the triangle PQR. Right. So, therefore, area of triangle PQR is equal to apply the formula for area of the triangle, which is given by half into. Let us take the three coordinates of triangle. That is one, two, and three. And let us move in a cyclic manner in any one of the direction. Since a coordinate. Of a point is given by x comma y. Let us take the x one value first into y two minus y three. Similarly, plus x two into y three minus y one plus x one plus x three into y one minus y two. This formula I've already explained in my previous videos, so it's better you go through those videos for better understanding. Now. Since we have obtained the three coordinates P, Q, and R, let us assume point P to be x1, y1, point Q to be x2, y2, and point R to be x3, y3. Let us substitute these values in the formula. So, area of the triangle P, Q, R is given by half into what is x1 value? It is one into y2 minus y3. So, y2 is zero, minus y3 is one. Plus x two is one into y three minus y one, so y three is one minus of y one is two plus x three is again zero into y one minus y two, so y one is two minus y two is zero, right? So this will be how much half into so zero minus one will be minus one. So minus one into one will be minus one. Again, one into minus two is how much? Minus one. So plus one into minus one will be again minus one. So zero into anything will be zero only. So we get here plus zero. So this will be one by two into minus one into minus one will be minus two. So this two and two will get cancelled, and we will be just left with minus one. So minus. So here, area of a triangle cannot be a negative value. So we will discard this negative value, and only we will consider one. So therefore, you can write down area of triangle PQR is equal to one square units. 
so here we have found out the area of a triangle formed by midpoint of the sides of the triangle whose vertices are given so we found out the area of this triangle pqr now the second part of the question is find the ratio of this area to the area of the given triangle so now we have to find out the ratio of the area of the triangle pqr and the area of triangle abc now we already know the area of the triangle pqr so let us find out the area of triangle abc by applying the formula and then we will find out the ratio so here again let us assume point a to be x1 y1 point b to be x2 y2 and point c to be x3 y3 and let us apply this in the formula of area of a triangle right therefore area of triangle abc is equal to half into x1 x1 is 0 into y2 minus y3 y2 value is 1 minus y3 is 3 plus x2 is again 2 into y3 minus y1 y3 value is 3 minus y1 is minus 1 so minus and minus will become plus 1 plus x3 x3 is how much 0 into y1 minus y2 y1 value is minus 1 minus y2 y2 is how much again it is minus 1 so this will be equal to half into 0 into anything will be 0 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 into 2 is 8 plus again 0 into anything is 0 right so cancelling we will have half into 8 half into 8 so 2 1 times 2 4 times therefore we get area of triangle abc as 4 square units right so therefore ratio of the area of triangle pqr and triangle abc is nothing but 4 is to 1 so you can write down therefore area of triangle pqr is to area of triangle abc is equal to 4 is to 1 right so this is the result so this is how we solve this question number three if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number four from exercise 7.3 chapter 7 coordinate geometry so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10 slc in sort math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen thank you